Nicole. Welcome to Nicole's Place. I just want to say happy International Women's Day. It was International Women's Day yesterday, March 8th. So to all of the badass, hardworking women out there, keep doing you. So today I want to talk about my candle collection. I love burning candles any time of the day in my house. I just think it brings a general warmth and ambiance to the room, which I really love. It helps me to relax and to de-stress. Now, I am a little picky about the candles that I burn because I think a while back I was burning a candle from Bath & Body Works and I st just started getting headaches and nosebleeds. So that's when I really started looking into the ingredients that my candles were burning. Now, my body responds better to natural burning candles but everybody's body is different, so if you have different reactions, play around with the different scents and fragrances in your house and just, you know, burn what you love to burn. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first brand I want to talk about is Jo Malone. So when we first moved into this house, my fiance and I really wanted to purchase items that would add to the look and the feel of the house and just to make it a very special place for both of us to come home to. So he knows I really love candles. So he got me some Jo Malone candles. And as some of you may know, these are very luxurious candles. They're almost $100 Canadian after you translate them from pound currency because they are a UK brand. It came in this really, really lovely matte black box. There are two candles that fit in this box. The first one I have already burned, this is the pomegranate noir, has a very pungent, expensive smell to it that is very inviting, especially when guests come over. There's also another candle inside this box. This is the honey suckle and divana candle. You can see it comes wrapped in a really pretty black bow. It really just adds to the decor of the house. Now, I am pretty sad to say that I don't think Jo Malone cleans the burnest, cleanest it doesn't burn the cleanest of waxes. And I didn't know this until after we received the candle. I tried to look on their website. They're very vague and mysterious about the ingredients and I I have to say I think it's paraffin wax because I realized that when I started burning the pomegranate noir, I started getting headaches, which isn't a good sign. So I burn them on very rare occasions, but because they have such a strong and pungent smell, the smell of the candle really does seep through the house even when it's not burning. So if not anything, they do make for really nice decor pieces. Very sad to say though. Next up, I have some local brands that are from Canada and I'm very proud to say they are very natural. So the first one is Coal and Canary. This is a brand from Winnipeg, I believe. I have two candles from their sweater weather collection. So it comes in a box like this, very fun packaging. They have several lines and I think when I was purchasing candles, uh, there this collection was on sale on the Bay website. So the first one I have is Give Me Some Sugar. It comes in a glass bottle and it comes with a wooden wick, which I think is really cool because when it burns, it really just cackles, which I think is really fun. This candle has brown sugar, yam, honey, and vanilla notes. Usually I find these type of sweet fragrances really overbearing on my sinuses but this one just burns a nice warm smell that doesn't really irritate my uh, nasal passage which, which is great. Another one I have is the Loose Leaf Teas and Downhill Skis. This candle has a nice earl grey tea smell which I really love. I burn this when I am in my soaker tub. It gives a nice fresh smell that is really unique to the whole room and I just really love it. It's not overbearing at all. Now I have here on my iPad the type of waxes that Cole and Canary uses. So Cole and Canary was born over a glass of wine hailing from backgrounds heavily rooted in decor and design. 
and coal and canary candles are hand poured in small batches and are made only with the highest quality soy and vegetable wax blend and true to scent fragrance oils. So I really love this brand and I would love to see what their spring collection has to offer. So for the price point, their original price was $30 a candle, which is really great when you compare them to the Joe Malone candle, but I got them on sale for 50% off. So that was $15. So keep an eye out on the Bay website. Sometimes they do have really good discounts. So the second Canadian brand I have is Murphy and Joe Company. So they come in a very simple, minimalistic jar like this. Very lovely. This one I haven't burnt yet. This one is the rice flour and vetiver candle. And the one that I have started burning is the fig and honey. Now I have to say that this Murphy and Joe candle doesn't have as strong of a fragrance as the coal and canary one. It gives a very light, airy feeling to the house, which is really nice. However, if you're burning it in a open space, it doesn't really smell like anything. Um, but in small spaces, you do get that nice honey sweet smell, which is really, really nice. So let me just go to the website on my iPad and tell you about the ingredients. Now, this candle company was founded by two friends based out of Toronto, Canada. So that's where I am from. Good, good. All scents are made with pure essential oils and some fragrant oils, and we use lead-free cotton wicks, which are really great. All candles are individually hand-poured with lots of love. It is a paraffin-free soy candle company. And what's also great is that they are proud supporters of Save the Scruff, which is a rescue dog company, and I think a portion of the proceeds from these candles goes towards that nonprofit organization, which is really great when you know that the products you're purchasing are helping to make this world a better place. So these candles I also got from The Bay. They were also part of the purchase I did with Coal and Canary, and they were also 50% off, which is really amazing. These candles are a little sm smaller in size, I believe, than the Coal and Canary. Can't really tell, but the original price is $30 as well, and I got them for 50% off, so I thought that was a steal. I think even at full price, they are really, really good products. Okay, next up, I have a brand called Illumi. So Illumi is a US brand. They come in cute jars like this. I think Illumi actually has different collections as well. This is the classic collection. I've started burning both, both of them and I love these. I keep these on my bedside table. So the first one is Grey Lavender. I love lavender. Lavender just helps me relax at the end of the day and just soothes me. So this has a really, really nice non-overbearing smell as well. And this one is Mineral Thyme. So this one is stronger than the lavender by far, but still it doesn't irritate my, my nose, which I really love. So on the Illumi website, they say, we have a variety of different wax bases to satisfy different claims and performance characteristics. We use soy, responsibly harvested palm, carnauba bee wax, and food Grade paraffin. Wow, that was a mouthful to say. Now, all of the candles beside the Joe Malone candles, they do not irritate my nose and I don't get nosebleeds when I burn them. So I feel safe burning them. Now, I can't say for sure what's exactly in the ingredient list. Obviously, I didn't do scientific experiments to find out, but I just, I'm a firm believer of listening to your body and just noticing the reactions that your body makes to different things that you impose on it. So if I don't get nosebleeds and I don't have headaches, 
that's I think a good threshold and measure for myself to feel good about the candles that I'm burning. I don't want to demonize paraffin wax as well because I know in Canada there are approved levels of paraffin wax that are on our produce, our fruits and vegetables that keep them in a stable state uh, to be able to be sold for a period of time in our stores. So I don't think that in certain amounts that they are necessarily dangerous to our body. And I don't think there are hard scientific articles as well to prove that burning paraffin wax causes any type of negative uh, cancerous reactions in our body as well. This is just how my body responds. So take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. Now I do want to mention one more brand that I have burned for the longest time. This is the Volupspa Benjuri Lychee Candle. Now this candle I've had for years. For the longest time this was the only candle that I had in my condo unit before moving into this house and this actually took me years to burn and there's still a little bit more wax in here. Now I think that Volupspa is also a natural burning candle brand so this is also another great brand to buy as well because their packaging is so ornate and delicate it is so pretty to look at just to have on your vanity or your kitchen table. So I really like this bread as well. They are just a little bit more expensive. So I might splurge on this at a very special time. Another brand that I'm interested to look into is the Vancouver Candle Company. They're obviously based out of Vancouver. They do a lot of candles that are neighborhood focused. So I know they do have a Toronto line, which is really cool because the candles are named after specific neighborhoods in Toronto, which I think is really, really cool. So I think when I get through some of this collection, I will venture into the Vancouver candle line. So I think that's all I have to say about my candles. As you can tell, I love my candles. I have over 10 over here. They're gonna take me a couple years to get through, but that's okay because I love them and I love how they make me feel and that's what's important, right? So again, happy International Women's Day. Celebrate if you're a man and woman and hopefully you can celebrate with a candle choice of your own. Until next time, bye guys. Mwah.